are here with Brandi Carlisle and Tanya Tucker, two amazing women in country music. And I have to ask, women in country especially have been really outspoken in the coming years. Why is it so important to be such a strong voice? Well, I'll take that one if you want. Yeah, go ahead. I mean. Um, I think that country women in the past have had a very strong voice at different points in time. And without that strong voice, without those narratives, without those artists, I don't know what kind of woman I would have been told I could be because country radio was the only thing I had access to as a child. Right now, I wouldn't let my daughters listen to country radio because they would think they are only a pair of blue jeans, you know, in the cab of a pickup truck. And that's not okay. We can change that narrative. There's amazing people, men and women, already trying to. But the culmination of those efforts is that tonight, a country legend, a matriarch in country music, just won country album of the year at 61 years old, and it's changing. Well, I'm very thankful. I have a lot of wonderful fans, but I also have Brandy and Shooter Jennings to thank for just, uh, you know, uh, believing in me and thinking that, and, and give, having a vision for my music to be important in the future as it was in the past, even, maybe even more important. And I'm very proud to, uh, to take a couple of trophies home tonight. Absolutely. Speaking of a couple of trophies, so Bring My Flowers Now is essentially about celebrating the people we love while they're here with us. Why is that so important to get out there right now? Well, I think we all, we've all uh, been afraid sometimes to, to admit our love and, and to, uh, for whatever reason, uh, but I say, you know, let, let, let it fall, let it, let, let it go, let it, just let it rip. And, it, you know, I, it's not that difficult to tell someone you love them. But tell them now, before it's too late, because the flowers aren't good enough. You know, they're just not good enough. So well said. And Brandy, at our Women in Music event, Maggie Rogers had such kind words to say about you. And this year she's up for Best New Artist with Lizzo, Billie Eilish. Who are some young voices that the two of you are really excited about going forward? I'm really excited about Maggie, Lizzo, and also Yola. Really excited about Yola. There are so many young women right now that are saying such amazing things, and I stand ready to support their trajectory in any way I can. And I don't know how you spell trajectory, but uh, I'm with her, and she's teaching me a lot. Uh, and it's, ama me a well, lot. it's amazing, though, that uh, this is the place uh, of all the genres, of all kinds of music. I feel like I'm a student. And I feel like it's an opportunity for me to learn about other, other artists, and uh, especially the women, you know? It's very cool. But she started it all. Yes, she did. Speaking of feeling like a student all the time, what do you think is the biggest lesson that the two of you have learned from one another? I'm sorry, what'd she say? She wants to know what the biggest lesson that we've learned from one another is. Wow, there's a bunch of them. I mean, there, one, uh, let's see, uh, the consummate pro professional, but most of all, just a great talent, a great vocal talent. I mean, if she did, even if she wasn't a nice person, she'd still sing her ass off, you know. And uh, I, I mean, it's still there, but but she is uh, probably well, she is my favorite singer because she's just so talented. I could I never hit the notes she does. I'm down here. I said, I'll meet you back down here in G. You know, she gets way up there, and I lose her sometimes. I've learned that it's never too late to follow and achieve your dreams. That's right. Ever. Get after it. Get after it. Start right now. Well, congratulations. Thank you both so much. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Forever starts now.